Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages where we try to traverse an extremely dark land. A place with invisible walkways, all the darkness leads to nothing, but at least we know partially where we can go thanks to the moblins walking around. And now we have to devise a strategy to get over. Now I can't take that thing with me to get there and the reason for that seems to be... Well, if you think about how these work, as soon as I get to a bend, I won't be able to carry it with me anymore because I'll be stuck on one side of the bend or whatever, unless I use a rock feather to jump over, which would be crazy! So we could try to use the Link to the Past thing I did, which was... Chuck a bomb and see where it lands, see if everything is okay. It is for a bit, it seems, but then when I get closer to the wall... Okay, closer to the wall is fine. Oh, oh I nearly got sucked in there, it felt like. This is working, yet again. I, I can't put them straight down. Alright, not there, that's that's for sure, not there. That far out. Okay, a little bit, and... Wow, it worked again. That is the best strategy you could do. I guess, mind you, there is probably a different way, a better way to do it, but it works for me whenever I see invisible floors. And then I guess that that's just to pull me back again, so brilliant! The bomb strategy works again! Patented Link to the Past works and even now! It's brilliant! I guess the other thing we could have done is stuck seed- ah, Stuck seeds on the ground? Well, we've got two keys now, so we can kind of go further forward. So that's cool. Excuse me! Out the way! But then again, on the end of one of my other video editing sprees of the last episode, I noticed something that I should have been able to get extremely easily on my way back. So let's go get that first of all. We might get ourselves the compass after all, and that would be really, really helpful. Because on the way back, we had to sh move this back down again, if you know what I mean, to get through. Excuse me, laser beam guy, man. Ow! There was the way down over there, just out in the open for us to go through, which was leading down, I think, to the light light room, which was a chest covered in the blue... Ah, ah, da, 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 not in the corner. Covered in a ring of the blue squares, which of course are already now lowered, so... Oh, lovely hearts, we're looking good if we want to grab that chest, and I would like... A dungeon map, but no, we found ourselves another small key. We've got all the small keys. A dungeon map would be better for me right now. That's, that's actually for sure. Okay. So, three keys, three places to go, I'm sure. Let's find them, please. Wherever they may be, before Mr. Shooty Guy gets another shot at me, I should have put up. Daha! Dodge this time! Excuse me, bad guys. Where shall I head next? That's the question. Of course, there's the key place for jumping over the way. There might be other places as well, like, uh, down here there was another key door, near the boss door. So, yeah, we could just jump down here quick, and if we don't can't get there, we could just jump off the wall and jump down the other way. So, let's go in, find our way around. To a place that needs, it seems, multiple pressure switches, but only three statues. That's not helpful or handy in any way. I was about to say, what's going on here, but it seems fairly obvious, to be honest. Well, was the first flame going to stay lit? That was my main problem. Well, actually, we need to get out of this room before the flames run out, if they do at all. Let's make it through and find a solution to a puzzle, it seems. And it seems the puzzle itself is over there. So we need like, okay, that was probably a really bad first move, actually astoundingly bad. Well, with that in mind, however, if we quickly shift things around a little bit more. Well, I can't push the blue one over there, but if I push the yellow one up here and the blue one out, that at least gets that in that position. And uh, the yellow one would be lined up next to... Well, we need a red one over there, a yellow one two squares down. Which enable me to push that blue one out again. A red upwards. A 
and then red and blue, which is actually really easy for us to put in place. That seemed like a really efficient way to do that puzzle. And we'll take another chest and we got the cane of Samaria. Use it to create blocks. Right, dungeon item found already. Which explains a lot of the things going on in here, to be honest. Considering the fact that we had the three statues, but only... Well, well four precious witches, three statues. Going the wrong way round for explaining that situation. So with that in mind, let's push them out, get them to where they need to be, and then create an extra block, eh? Which is probably what we should have been encountering the dark room with, rather than the bomb strategy. Because we could have just pushed a block into no man's land, and worked it out. And we haven't, don't even need magic power, power to work this now. We've got ourselves another key though! We, we are absolutely chock-a-block full of small keys. Do we need small keys anymore? The answer to that is no. We really do not. Now where do we go though? Yes, I will jump on your head because that is an incredibly stupid idea of me. Any keys to put down here? Well, there definitely was something to do down here, wasn't there? We couldn't do a vision. Ow! Guys, I hate you. Stop shooting me. All I'm gonna... Oh, of course! Now we can make it over this way! Because prior we didn't have a way to get up with a rock's feather, but now with the cane of Samaria... Oh, maybe a bit too far. 2D had to get used to. We can jump up and over. In fact, we can do it twice, but we're gonna have to do a nice jump for once. There we go, brilliant! Alright, now where to go though? Obviously we've got some bouncing around to do. I don't know why I'm putting that on, it seems a bit faster than lifting it up in the normal fashion. Take all the goodies, then we need the seed shooter, sent the seeds of course, because they seem more useful as a projectile than anything else. Let's hit that and make our way through. Ah, ah, get away from me bats! And you! And then hit that one, we make our nice pathway through. I'm just wondering if we might encounter a possibly with all these jars around, but... No, let's jump. If I had to say anything again, the cane of Samaria might be useful, but... Ooh! Ah! Easy puzzle! You may think it looks a bit meh, but... It's something along this line. Ding! And then we can get this way sorted correctly. And then we need to put... And then we just need to even them out. So if we go one up here... Oh no, that's not the way to do it. We need to go the other way around. Put them both up one, and down we go. Right into the slots. And find another small key. So we've already found four small keys. But only like two doors or so. I feel like a bit of a hoarder right now. Right, we seem to have explored most of the bottom rooms, and we're missing most of the top rooms. So, back round we go. It's the only way to do things, I guess. At least we can open up every door that we come across. I'd, I wouldn't doubt that we probably have every small key we could get at this point. It seems like that to me. Let's take the... Oh, and fell on it. Did not intend to do that, that's for sure. Oh, you got there, do you? I guess it is one screen, but still. Wasn't quite expecting you to latch on it. Expecting you to go on to the next one. Right, no! No! It definitely seems that the switch image No! Got away. Ah. Yeah, that's 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 problematic. I think we need to go reset something here. Just a little bit. We might need to hit a switch. Which means that I have to go all the way back. Because that is a monstrous failure. That is quite ridiculously bad. Alright, let's get over you. Make sure to jump. Make sure it sounds like we're jumping in real life. Because, yes, over-exaggeration. I'm obviously doing that in real life. Why is this that happen in commentary? You, you act like the thing's actually happening to you. It's crazy. Make it onwards yet again. Excuse me, sir, I'm not gonna walk into you this time. For I've learned my lesson. We'll make it no matter what. No loss of health for me this time. Oh, he says. He's about to lose some HP, though. Aha! But my jumping prowess has defeated you this time. 
waiting for you to shoot is another way of defeating you. So, haha, Huzzah! We made it! Oh, no, not you again! Right, um... I'm gonna jump, no matter what. Now, where, which way to head this time? Up? Which, to be honest, is up from there. Which makes not much sense. How do I get over there? Okay. Well, we definitely know one way we can head, so let's go the only way we know how. Not that one, not that one, that one. Works for me. Now let's try and dodge the bats, which is always a difficulty in itself. He says he actually makes it for once. And come across some kind of guy who might be anything to fight us with. Uh, judging by the ball, I instantly put on the power glovey thing. And then maybe I can block some stuff over here. Right, you're just like the mobling guy. Sometimes I have skills of being able to, like, actually see what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, instantly analyze the situation. There's a big ball in the middle. Obviously, we're going to be using that for something. Ow, that was a horrific throw. Well, at least it landed next to me this time. Uh, let's keep you trapped in the corner, sir. Let's hit and use the hard point. Oh. Let's, like, lure him in. Hey! Don't run towards me! No! He's just... He's just running through me now! What a mean guy! Ah! Oh. No, 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 no! Okay, we got away that time. But he moves too much. If I could block him in the Canis and Mary or something, that would be amazing. Alright, got you that... Oh, no! Oh, it went away from him, but he's definitely got it this time. Ah, oh, missed! Ah, oh, it's your turn! Okay, it's not. It's my turn. Again. No, stop moving! Yes, finally defeated. Wow, you got some licks in on me, that's for sure. I don't know why you don't just attack me normally rather than try to attack me with a ball. Instant scenario analysis. See big ball thing apart from boss? Put on weapon that will win. Seems we need to bring that over, but of course with the Cayman Samaria itself we can do that, so not an issue for us to get over the bridge at the very least. Bing! But to be honest, it might be more of a case that we might need to set up a permanent switch at some point in time or another, so let's get on to that, I'd say. Personally, perma switches work better for me. Plus it moves it out the way of the chest, so... That's also a good thing. Oh, unless you walk into the hole after not realizing what you're doing. Well, that said. Right, Perma Bridge. We can use the Kenya Samaria for more stuff now. But to be honest, I don't think we really need to do that. But we found ourselves the compass at last, so not bad. Though I imagine the amount of chests that. Oh no, there is still two chests to find. Does that mean there are more keys? In fact, we could just jump down to get back, so I didn't even have to do all that switcherooing around it. I'm just wasting time. See, now I'm using my forward analysis things in a bad way. This time round, it's... Oh! Oh, no, you didn't make that. This time round, it's imagining that the puzzle's deeper than the puzzle actually is. And I'll jump onto you, no problem. In fact, jumping onto the next one from there... It's just a jump down, so no waiting for us. Okay, blue one and red one taken down with a power slash. I knew you were going to take some time. I'm glad you didn't knock me upwards, because that might have reset some bad guys. Still, another enemy down? And no puzzle, no reward for that. We've reached another land anyway, so we'll take what we can get, you know what I mean? Oh, it had to be a Spearman version. We'll take you out as well. Right, let's try and get ourselves a couple of hearts or something along those lines, see what we can see. Of course, it would be giving us a lot of seeds right now, because we need to switch around that by the look of it, but to be honest, we can make it through at the moment. So where is the question? There seems to be key blocks around. Where are we at the moment? Up the very top, so... Ah, oh, I didn't even manage to get away. 
too busy dodging the curse kind of bad thing. No! Oh, I nearly got hit by it again. Right, so let's use this key block and push onwards. Though we still need to switch around things to red. Of course, we can do it from here to head upwards that way, but then we block ourselves up another way. Let's head to the top room first, because of course, oh no, the, co the compass, the, the, the treasures are down below, but this may still lead to it some. Oh no! Not you again! I'm just wondering if we need to get into this or something here, because there's a lot of jars. A lot of very suspicious -y jars. Ow, ow, ow! Though, to be honest, it seems like again we need to switch over the, the platforms. Where are we going to do it from in the end? Maybe... Oh! Obvious, super obviousness, nerdness, nerdness, land. If we can make it from this top bit, we can just shoot it from range. As long as it doesn't go straight over, of course. Oh, wow! Nice aim. Okay, it's kind of hit the edge a bit. There we go, that's what we wanted. That's better. I was wondering if we had to go back into the previous room from the bottom and do that, but still. Right, onwards to the left-hand side. For ourselves to have another key thing to unlock. Yeah. It seems that I aim very strongly is to make it back this way. No! Okay. Jump over. Ah. My confusion is rife. Oh no, I, I, okay, I can just walk on it. That works too. If I can walk on it, then I can just simply get on like this. I guess you can shoot it again via there, maybe? Kind of not, but whatever. We've made it. I don't know if I can make it back thanks to what I've done, however, but still. Don't you, don't, are you? Don't you dare I said, and it did. It really dared, and took so much of my health as well for its trouble. It knocked me away from every bit of the stairs. I was trying to get through there at super speed, but no. Hello, green guy. You might give a heart. No, bat. No one wants to give me a heart. Well, at least I've got the one last key, it seems. Uh, 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 fire! Excellent. You're not getting me, sir. Oh, no, not another one of them. Well, you can from range. Seems to be the best bet at the moment. Sometimes I can hit his bullet chain, but only four shots for a defeat, a kill. That's not bad, I've got to say. Alright, with that in mind though, however, it seems I want to switch around again to be able to get ourselves that red chest, which is not hard to do from here. And then just do it one more time to get ourselves to space forward, but we got 50 rupees. How lucky indeed. If we reach 500, of course, we'll be able to buy ourselves another heart piece. I can't remember what the options were to buy for 300 though, so maybe something useful there as well. Let me in! Don't attack me! Right. Space is up, space is down. Most importantly, it seems the Cane of Samaria is used in conjunction with the Rock Feather here again. Be able to. Boom! Oh, I thought I made that! I thought I made that indeed! Okay, ah, uh, uh, don't go back through. We want to be in here. Just jump over and, of course, check with you, sir. What do you say? Bring all to me. So, in any specific order, or you just want everything here? Doesn't seem like there's any special thing to it. Well, there's two reds, three yellows. Oh, and now we find the special thing. Right, with that in mind, King of Samaria out once more. We need to meet you guys up in the middle somewhere. Because you guys are going to be the middle blocks. With that, we can actually place you quite early. With that said again here, we need to uh, push this one. Hmm. Well, if we push it up as well, we might be able to rearrange it a bit better. Because if we get this one here at the very... Oh, no, but then we won't be able to... Ah! Right, you go down there, you go down there. Then we can rearrange it like that. 
and then we can't push it because it's a block of free. So we need to go back one. Oh no, that's really bad. Um, or we could just do it a different way. We could go like you. No, 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 like you. Push this one forward. Remove the block. Push that one down. Push that one left, which will of course block itself now. So yeah, done and done. Now, however, you, you are the, you are not problematic in any way, shape, or form, because with all of them like that, I can just push it in. And I'll take this chest, which gives us the boss key. So I think we've explored every single room apart from the one behind the boss now. So I'm going to save the game, head on over, and I'll see you guys next time for a boss battle, it seems. Join me then on Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Bye-bye.